Looking at some new pictures we just got in, Glenn. New video, ground level, unedited, but uh, this is uh, straight up and we're zooming in. Yeah, this in. is right to the right of World Trade Center mm -hmm. 7 right now. You can see through some of the construction there. Uh, just That's another, quite a, an angle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, as you can it see. makes it difficult up at the roof level, too, because this is an angled building like that. And so um, as you get this shot pulling back here and everything, you can see that it goes to a point up on top there. And so the firefighters perhaps have more, even more difficulty dealing with this because it isn't just a normal, you know, four-sided flat building. It's got these angles to it. Mm -hmm. um, these, these scaffolds are, though, as we mentioned earlier, designed and engineered specifically for this building. Um, and uh, I, like I said, once this rescue is over with, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, of investigations and things that will take place to find out why this happened because of course the building only opened a few weeks ago yeah and uh, we wonder had it been tested you know and why did this happen and uh, we'll have to find out and, and not for nothing not the greatest day to be washing windows to begin with I mean for lack of I mean to be honest with you, I know we're talking with Elise yeah. a second ago it's been raining all morning here in lower Manhattan you got Decent, si decent amounts of winds out there. I mean, why something like this? Well, a foggy, yeah. misty, sort of rainy day usually isn't the best day to clean anything. Mm -hmm. uh, people know that from cleaning their cars, usually on the day that it's raining or we've yeah. got the mist. This is not the day to clean your car, so I'm not exactly yeah. so sure we'll, why that's a great day for window yeah, washing. We'll get a, a better sense of who knows. Maybe you know, maybe this was just a training run or to, to, to test the system. We don't know. We we'll don't find know. out. We'll find out more. We but, continue to see some movement there. Uh, we, we did. A, we saw a human being. We saw a person. We're told two windows washers the city confirmed for us uh, we've seen to the top of it that that slanted thing in the center of the left screen that is the scaffolding the 68th floor of one world trade center south side we've shown you video and we'll show it again from our street level camera the sides of this building this beautiful building are angled. Uh, we're also getting pictures, as you've mentioned, Chris, yeah, from social media. Exactly. Just so it gives you a little bit of a uh, broader perspective. Uh, this is tweeted in from Mike. And you can see uh, a lot of people who were on the plaza this morning are, have been reporting in and, and have been tweeting here for the last, you know, 45 minutes or so that there is a problem on One World Trade Center uh, looking up and seeing this scaffolding in the position that it's in right now. 68 floors uh, above ground level here on the south side of One World Trade Center as we continue to bring you this live breaking news. Here on CBS 2 News, we can confirm there are two workers on this scaffolding. Uh, and now we just wait for the rescue mission to commence. NYPD, FDNY, and Port Authority Police all on the scene right now. From everyone we're talking with, including Glenn from John Jay College on the phone with us right now, it looks as though, or it seems as though, the best way of rescuing these, rescue, these uh, window washers is going to be by popping out some of these window panes here on the 68th floor. Um, Glenn, as far as... Uh, I know we keep talking about this is not a quick process and this is going to take a while. How quickly, I mean, time is of the essence here. How, how quickly do you think they can pull something like this off? Well, I, I would imagine in the next hour or so that, uh, that they'll have this completed. Um, again, one of the things we mentioned earlier is that they're going to have to assess uh, the type of glass that's here. Now, the FDMY rescue units carry some very specialized equipment for cutting all sorts of glazing or glass on the outside of a building. So. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's certainly going to take a large part of it. There's firefighters, of course, as we mentioned earlier, up on the roof. And they're going to, again, try to, to secure that cable, which I'm sure they've done already. Um, because this is a, such a weird um, angle here with the side of the building, I'm sure that's presenting some challenges to them up there. You know, there, mm -hmm. there are basically large arms or davits that come over the side of the building in which the scaffolding is lowered and raised, basically. And so um, they're up there, uh, I guess, of course, I would imagine, uh, uh, trying to determine, you know, how, again, how best to stabilize this so that the folks down below who are in direct communications with them uh, will be able to perform the actual rescue operation and not have to have the scaffolding uh, moving, um, of course. 